What could be in this box? Let's find out, shall we? Probably in the description you already know. But hey, so be it. Let's do a little unboxing here. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. Ta-da! It's got knobs. It's, it's purple. It says it's supposed to be red, but it's purple. I guess the Chinese don't know the difference between purple and red. Let's get it out, shall we? Oh, yeah. And that's it. Nothing else in the box. Now the big unveiling. Voila. That's purple. I don't know what the heck they were thinking. But purple's fine. I like purple. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? Well, we got manual. Spinner plate. Elk whistle. This is your manual. Okay, read this booklet thoroughly before using, save for future reference, twin tub washing machine instruction manual. Okay, over here is your contents, introduction, but the one thing you'll notice is the clarity is not really that good. Description of each and individual part that it's numbered, it's hard to make out. Okay, over here is your washing instructions or preparation, washing, spinning, and rinsing, okay? Then it gives you a nice little picture, tension points with uh, safety, okay? Your maintenance, and then your troubleshooting. And behind here is your electrical diagram, basically for the description of the power. This is basically just the review of what it looks like on the outside. You'll notice I put white paint up here. That's so you can see the arrows. It's a little bit easier. And another thing is I put a sticker up here. It says turn back standard after spin cycle. Because if you go ahead and start using it and you start draining. And let's say you go back and take it from spin. You might forget to put from drain back up to standard. And next thing you know all the water that you're putting in here is going to dump out. Okay, so this is the inside, this is your agitator. That over there is your lint screen, okay? This is your spinner, the plate that goes on top of your clothes. Just remember that has to go on top of the clothes before you go in. This and this are your water inlets where you use the uh, elk whistle, okay? On your wash, you're up to 15 minutes for the timer. You have drain, standard, and soft. You'll see that in the video that the agitator does change a little bit, but not much. And then your spin timer goes up to five minutes. Okay. Everything through is transparent, so you can see my hand. Over here, you can see I had everything. One thing is, and it's really not much of a notice, is that right there is your overflow. So when you're doing your laundry on this side, if water starts, if you've put too much water in, it'll automatically carry over into the drain in here and then go out to the main drain. Okay. This is your drain hose. Go down there. Dump out the water. Anytime you need to drain, you keep it there. Remember, do not cut this. This holds the hose up. Back here is your access panel down there with your cord and then your data plate, okay? Come back around on this side. Nothing really changes. Here's your handle. Now the nice thing also, if you do overfill, this has got a nice little lip right here and it's sloped down this way. So it will automatically pour into here and then go into the body drain, okay? That's it. Before we go into showing you the washing, remember, wash, and you get done with the wash cycle, put it in here, rinse it out, 
throw it back in here to rinse it, and then throw it back in here to final uh, spin it out. Okay, you could probably go ahead and wash and rinse, but you'll still have a good soap residue left in your clothes, so that might make it not do as well. So just remember, wash, spin, rinse, spin, and you're done. Okay. Also, the other thing is, <clears throat> is if you were to use this, remember, you'll have to go to Home Depot because the faucet is not going to be able to fit that. I mean, you could probably put it up there, but you'll still get water sprayed. That's why I went with the one gallon bucket, the pitcher. Worked fine for me. All right. All right. Now, here's where the fun begins. I'm going to take my hoodie. I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to give it a test drive. I'm going to follow the instructions. And let's put this in there. Hey, look at that. From the looks of it, looks, from the looks of it, I could probably put, you'll see in the video or in the pictures, I could probably put three hoodies in here with no problem. And these are two X hoodies. Preparation should be placed on a flat level ground. Plug in should be in a GCFI, lay down um, the overflow hose, which is that one that's on the side that's over here. You can't see it, but it's that one we were talking about. Okay, I got Mr. Bucket to catch any residual extra water. Then it says use water inlet hose. I'm not gonna use it, so I'm just gonna pour it. Just water level based upon the clothing material and its weight, turn on power. Okay. Washing, set the wash and drain selector switch according to the material type. Well, we're gonna be in standard. They have soft and drain. So soft must be what you would consider a delicate load. Standard is just your normal clothes that you're gonna wash. Okay. Then set the wash timer in the plate and place the clothes into the tub and adjust, adjust the washer level to proper position. Okay, well, we're going to put water in there. Actually, first things first. I'm going to put a tablespoon and a half of... Wow. Let's put a tablespoon of... And we'll go a little bit more. Okay. There's one. And yeah, we'll just a little bit more. Yeah, makes it smell nice. And we'll see what it does. Okay, put that off the side. And what we're going to do is we're going to watch and see what the water does. Okay. So we'll pour in some nice warm water. Yes. The gallon pitcher. Okay. Says set timer, close lid. Now, one thing to remind yourself about: these don't auto shut off if you lift the lid. I'll show you. Okay, so we'll go ahead. We'll set the timer. We'll set it for 12. Now, be mindful that you still open this. It's still going to run. So, just make sure that no kids are around there or nobody that should not be playing with this. So, we've got it set for 12 minutes. Okay, it's been 12 minutes. Let's drain the water, shall we? Remember, drain's right there. Yeah, we'll take all that excess water. Let it do its thing. And it's draining perfectly out of the clothes. I think I put too much soap in it, but hey, yeah, it's a learning curve. Yeah, a little extra soap. Whoopsie.
but you learn. Okay, so after your wash, it's gonna be kind of fun. You take your stuff out of there. Notice it's a little soapy. And you fit it over here. Now you'll see the difference here in a second. This fits in there okay. Okay? Oh, I have a nice little picture of it. Take your little presser. You set it down here. It's still draining. Okay. Put that down there. Set your timer. Then we'll get up, go out of balance. There she goes. Okay. It's pulling all that water out. ring out kind of got a weird way of pushing it in and pulling it and everything put your ring off to the side grab your handy dandy item close and I know you really can't see it but it cleaned it up it washed it really good because this thing was dirty it was covered in mud and all kinds of crud anyways I hope this helped you. I hope it maybe helped you if you decide to purchase something like this. Do you think it would be worth it? Yeah, I do. I think it's a great investment, especially if you're a college kid, military, guy on the road, woman on the road, it don't matter. It's a great thing so you don't have to go out in general public all the time and you can wash your clothes in your safeness of your own room. The only thing is you might want to look at a portable dryer or a way to hang up your clothes. But I'll tell you one thing, coming out, I give it about an hour and this thing would easily be wearable. I mean, it's it's damp, but it's not like really wet. And if you want, throw it back in, redo it again. This is Trav, I hope this video has helped you. You have a great and safe day. And remember, look out for each other. Talk to you later.